Aww, animals. This ant is explosive. Mess with these bugs, Tomo sapiens, and they'll quite literally try to blow you up by tearing themselves a new one. Research published in the journal Zookeys tells of a new species of exploding ant found in Southeast Asia's jungles. More specifically, they're found in Borneo, Thailand, and Malaysia. They remained unknown until now because scientists simply didn't know how many types of exploding ants there are. Earlier research in Zookeys reckons there may be at least 15 kinds, including these guys. Called Colobopsis explodens, the ant's body is filled with sacks of deadly toxic substance. They are minor workers in colonies. The lead researcher in the study told the Washington Post that these ants attack threats to their nest by biting them and then moving their posterior toward its body. This is kind of like how a wasp moves in for a sting. Next comes the nasty stuff. The ants will flex their muscles so hard that their skin will burst and release the fluid all over the threat. But in doing so, the ants also kill themselves. Or in other words, it'll squeeze until its own butt explodes and shower its enemy with its poisonous, gooey innards. According to the Post, it smells like curry. That'll either nullify or cripple whatever nest invader decides to show, but if the intruder is somehow still alive, then they've got the big guys plus the rest of the colony to deal with. Next, the threat would meet these massively headed insects. These are the colony's major ant workers and act as the second line of defense. According to Nat Geo, these types of ants are mostly female. Ants are superorganisms. Unlike individually minded beings, ant colonies think and act as one. So, in a way, death of the exploding ants is similar to what humans would call taking one for the team. But in their case, one being a kaboom and the team being your millions of siblings. Bugs and their ways. Just call a professional. This is what happens when you mix alcohol, fire, bed bugs, and a multifamily unit. An unidentified woman reportedly thought it was wise to try and exterminate bed bugs with alcohol near an open flame last Friday night in Cincinnati. The blaze put three people in hospital and displaced ten residents from the building. Total damage for the fire was reported to be almost a quarter of a million bucks. Building resident Cameron Leish live-streamed the blaze on Facebook. He said he and his two brothers lost everything. Reportedly, this is the second time in two weeks that a Cincinnati resident has gone up in flames while someone was trying to kill bedbugs. Local fire chief Randy Friel gave profound advice for dealing with bedbugs, and that's get a professional. <laughs> Study shows 76% drop in flying bug populations. Bugs, while icky, are critical to nature and new research indicates they might be in decline. The research looked at the biomass of flying insects inside 63 German nature reserves. It found that between 1989 and 2016, the reserve's total flying insect population had declined by an average of 76%. The cause of the massive drop is unclear, but the fact the insects vanished at such a high rate has scientists concerned. The researchers say their findings could be representative of other areas around the world. Nature needs bugs, and we need nature. And if there's no nature, well, the planet becomes Mars 2.0. U.S. cities experiencing influx of new residents. Bed bugs. Everything is on the up and up in the U.S. You can't deny that. The numbers coming out of the bed bug sector are especially strong and should continue to climb. Baltimore has ranked number one on Oregon's annual Top 50 Bed Bug Cities list for a second straight year. Baltimore was followed by Washington, Chicago, Los Angeles, and Columbus. Bed bug numbers were reduced after World War II, but have since made a comeback due to increased traveling, regulatory restrictions on insecticides such as DDT, and tolerance to organic pesticides. One research firm found that the bed bug control industry was worth around 611.2 million U.S. dollars in 2016, with some analysts estimating industry revenue could hit 1 billion in five years. According to one report, hotels spend on average $6,383 per bed bug incident, which includes the replacement cost for soft goods, treatment, and lost business.